Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome and thanks for tuning in. I couldn't upload anything guys last week because I had the worst sore throat ever. Like I legit sounded like a man. Sometimes when I would speak, I will scare myself and be like, hey Jesus, like I belong to the guy section in any choir that you come across. That's how deep my voice was. So I couldn't upload anything, but then my voice is doing a lot better now. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my top five favorite blushes for women of color. Blushes are that one product that I feel like a lot of people consider them to be really tricky because most times, especially if you're not really into makeup or if you're a beginner, looking at some colors sometimes, especially when they're very, very bright, you're not really sure if they're going to work, if they're not going to work. But one thing that I like to do is that I try as much as possible to make sure that whatever it is that I have on my cheeks, that it complements whatever lip color that I have on. Ideally, I think that that is what it should be. And I don't apply too much at once i just try as much as possible to make sure that it's really subtle and well blended but then i want it to also complement whatever lip color that i'm going to be wearing the blushes that i'm going to show you guys in this video they work really great for all the different shades of lip colors that i own i'm going to be showing you guys a total of five but then i'm going to give you guys two alternatives to two of the blushes that i'm going to show you guys as well so i'm going to get right into it now the first one is a blush by MAC and it's their blush in raisin. It looks like this. MAC describes this as a reddish brown shade and this is one of my favorite blushes of all time. I don't even think that I've used a blush as much as I have used this one here on this channel. And the reason is because this is one of those blushes that literally goes with almost everything for me. So it doesn't matter if I have a pink lip color on, red lip color on, whatever. This blush is going to go with it. For me though, on my skin tone, this blush tends to go with everything. Whenever I use a lip color for the first time and I'm not really sure what blush to pair it with, this one always works. This is the one that I reach for and it works great okay the formula is matte it doesn't have any kind of shimmer in it and depending on your skin tone you can actually use this to contour you can get away with using this as a contour powder so this is a really good blush if you've not tried any blush from mac and you're looking to try one i would highly recommend that you start with this this is a really 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 good blush the second blush for me is by nyx and it's in the shade desert rose it's a very nice pink blush and it always looks really good whenever i pair it with any type of pink lip color it's what i have on right now on my cheeks and you guys can see how good it looks with this lip color it's a powder blush and it's very very smooth it's not chalky it applies nicely it's just a very very good blush and it's also really affordable as well compared to the mac blushes that sell for 23 dollars a piece this one sells for 4.99 that's how affordable it is and if you've not tried nyx blushes just know that you're sleeping on them their blushes are really 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 good and really affordable so if you're looking for a nice pink blush i would highly recommend that you get this one this is desert rose by nyx the third blush for me is a blush by Sleek and Sleek is another brand that has really affordable blushes. Their blushes are really affordable but then the quality is really good. They are not chalky, they are not grainy, they just work really great. My favorite color from them is this one and it is in the shade Coral. And this is a peach blush. This blush looks really good when I pair it with my peach lip colors or my nude lipsticks that have a very peach undertone to them. This blush looks amazing. It's a powder blush and it's matte, but it's not really the most pigmented out there. This blush is probably not going to show up on anyone who is slightly darker than I am. Maybe if you're around my skin tone and, and lighter, this will probably work great for you. But then if you're looking for a very good peach blush that would show up on a darker skin tone, I would highly recommend that you check this one out. The fourth one for me is Max Sweet as Cocoa. It is a sheer tone blush and with most sheer tone blushes by MAC, they mostly always have a little bit of shimmer in them. MAC describes this as a brown pearl. And this is the blush that I always go for whenever I want very subtle color on my cheeks. You would know that I'm wearing something, but it's not very obvious. So I like to do that sometimes. And when I do, you know, want the whole no blush, but there is a blush there look, I always go for this. And because it glows on its own, I always keep a highlighter whenever I use this on my cheeks. But then another really good alternative to this blush is NYX's Cocoa. And it looks like this. The shades are really similar. The only Thing is that this one is a matte blush and the other one isn't so this is what they look like side by side and you guys can see that they look really similar 
The last blush for me is by NARS and it's in the shade Taj Mahal. It's a gorgeous orange blush. It has lots of shimmer in it so I tend to skip a highlight as well with this whenever I have it on but this blush is absolutely gorgeous. I lost it after it for so long before I managed to get my hands on it and it's also not cheap. It's the most expensive of everything that I have shown you guys so far but this blush is so worth it. It looks amazing. Amazing on darker skin tone especially when you have a red lipstick on. If you're not sure what kind of lip color to pair with this, this looks amazing with red lip sticks red lip color this blush is amazing please don't sleep on Taj Mahal it's an amazing blush for those of us who live in Nigeria it might be a little bit difficult for you to get your hands on this blush so a very good alternative that I'd recommend is this one by Casabella and it's in the shade Sun Kiss. this is more of a true orange than this one is this looks more like a blood orange than this one but then the effect is really similar and this is also matte whereas this has little bits of shimmer in it I always skip a highlighter whenever I have this on but with this if you want the glow you would probably have to go on and add that separately so these two they look really good when you pair them with red lipsticks don't shy away from orange blushes believe me they look amazing on darker skin tone so if you've not tried an orange blush yet please to try them out you would not regret it so these are all my favorite blushes you guys requested that i should do a top fives on blushes and i've done one now please let me know what else you guys would like me to do in top fives on and if you're someone who is really interested in mac blushes i have this detailed blog post that i did two years ago i shared my five favorite blushes by mac for women of color so i'm going to link that post here you can check that out if you want i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys